there guys, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me today for another demonstration using our brand new stamps launched this week. We've got our gel press here which I'm going to be using to create our background and we've got elements. I'm going to be using the colour Sahara. We've got some brushos and then we've got a number of different colours of the Versafine that I'm going to be stamping with. So to start with, I'm going to ink up the Sahara and then just transfer that ink onto the gel press. I've got some yellow brush watered down here and I'm just going to pop that down. And then I want a darker colour down at the bottom here. I'm going to go with the grey. And I'm going to pop a little bit of the moss green in there as well. So I've got the multifarious card here. I'm going to pop that over the top, smooth it over. And there we've got our lovely background. And let's just dry this off. to stamp our lovely new trees. To start with I'm going to ink up in the Nocturne. And I'm going to pop that down around about there. Give that a good press. And then now I'm going to ink up in the Twilight. I'm using the same stamp, but I'm just going to ink just the inside. Don't worry too much if you haven't covered that whole area. Now I'm going to stamp off ever so lightly and then I'm just going to stamp inside or should I say in front. So you can see it looks like there's a tree behind this one and I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to ink up in the Nocturne to start with and I'm going to pop that down round about there. Give that a good press down And again, I'm going to ink up now in the twilight. Now I've not inked up at all the base of the tree. Okay, so forget that. Just ink up the trunk and a few of the branches here. And again, I'm just going to pop that down inside or in front. So it's almost like you're looking through. So I've got two little hairs here and I'm going to ink these up in the Nocturne. And I'm just going to pop those 
at the base of the trees. Now these ones, obviously these aren't new stamps, but the beauty about the stamps is that they mix so well with the range that we already have. So you can mix and match your old stamps with your new stamps. Now I've got my hill mask here. Just about touching the hair's bums there. So we're going to use a stencil brush in the twilight. And now I'm going to use the Nocturne. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful with the Nocturne and just pull it along the very edge. So that's quite a harsh line now. So all I'm going to do with the ink that I've got left I'm just going to go over the top and it just softens it, makes it look a little bit more mystical. So now taking the worded stamp, I'm going to ink this up in warm breeze. And then I'm going to pop that down in the middle there. And then we're going to ink up again and this time I'm just going to take that around the edge. And I want it to be nice and subtle, not too overpowering which is why I've chosen the warm breeze. It's nice and light. got our little star stamp here as well. So this time I'm going to ink up in the Monarch. And I'm going to stamp off and then stamp over the top. I'm going to use the pan pastels. Let's just use maybe a little bit of the red. Okay, I'm now taking the orange Posca, I'm just going to go over the red some of the white as well.
I'm going to trim that down again just to make it a little bit more even. And then I'll just finish off using some glitter. So I've got the glue pen here and I'm just going to dot in and around the hairs and the trees. And then sprinkle some glitter over the top. Maybe we'll go with this one, Purple Delight. Now I don't want too much, just a little. So I'm just going along the edge. So tap off and you can see how that fine glitter has attached itself to the ink on the bottom there. We can add a little bit more colour at the top there, I think I might actually. Um, let's maybe use the warm breeze just to bring in, it's a little bit white at the top there so And maybe I'll use a little bit of the twilight as well, just to give it a little bit of depth. Every time you bring colour in around the edge of the card, especially if it's dark, it just pulls your eye into the centre. So keep that centre nice and light. and just give a little bit of depth around the edge. That's how I like to work anyway, but we're all different. So I'm happy with that now. I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration and uh, thank you so much for joining me again today. You take care and we'll see you real soon. Bye for now guys.